Mr. Fauci? Because you're not doctor. You're Mr. Fauci in my few minutes. No, I don't need your answer. I want to talk about this right here. Well, a hearing was held in the House yesterday trying to get Republicans to rehabilitate conspiracy theories about the COVID-19 pandemic. They dragged 83 year old Dr. Fauci out to try to make him some kind of criminal. And Marjorie Taylor Greene was so triggered by Dr. Fauci remaining cool, calm and collected that she blurted out, you belong in prison. You have to see this. Uh, I don't even know what they're trying to do. To be totally honest, I, I get they they're furious about the fact that the experts like scientists and doctors continue to be seen as the authorities and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Jim Jordan are not seen as the authorities on medical issues. I get it that they're mad, but Marjorie Taylor Greene turning this entire hearing into a circus. You have to see this. It is almost difficult to watch. Mr. Fauci, you were quoted on CBS Face the Nation saying it's easy to criticize, but they're really criticizing science because I represent science. Do you represent science, Mr. Fauci? I am a scientist who uses the scientific method to gain information. Yes, you said you represent science. Do you represent science, Mr. Fauci? Yes Again, or no? It, it, yes or no? No, that's not a yes or no answer. Yes, it's a yes or no. I don't think it is. Okay, well, we'll take that as a you don't know what you represent. Oh, I. <laughs> but this, as director of the NIH, you did sign off on these so called scientific experiments. And as a dog lover, I want to tell you this is disgusting and evil what you signed off on and these experiments that happened to beagles paid for by the American taxpayer. And I want you to know Americans don't pay their taxes for animals to be tortured like this. So the type of science that you are representing, Mr. Fauci, is abhorrent and it needs to stop. Mr. Fauci, you also represent no question there. You might notice, you know, representing science as a perspective is not saying I speak for all scientists. It's sort of like if you have a panel and you have a Christian pastor there, the Christian pastor is there representing the Christian view. It doesn't mean the pastor speaks for every Christian. You're there in that role. And the most remarkable thing about all of this is that Marjorie Taylor Greene is still a member of Congress. At another point, she tries to say, I will refuse to call you doctor. You are Mr. Fauci here. And I guess saying that uh, he belongs in prison. He's especially when the NIH and these government agencies, most powerful agencies in our country are recommending medical uh, suggestions and advice and making up guidelines like six feet distancing and masking of children. Do you think that's appropriate? Do the American people deserve to be abused like that, Mr. Fauci? Because you're not doctor, you're Mr. Fauci in my few minutes. No, I don't need your answer. I want to talk about this right here. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Fauci, objection. I reclaim Mr. my Chairman time. Objection. I reclaim my time. I reclaim my time, Mr. Raskin. Gentle lady will suspend. Order. Mr. Chairman of order, just in terms of the rules of decorum, are we allowed to deny that a doctor is a doctor just because we don't want him to be a doctor? Yes, because in my <laughs> time, that man does not deserve to have a license. As a matter of fact, it should be revoked and he belongs in General prison. Was that was the first reference to Marjorie Taylor Greene, representing, of course, the party of law and order and due process wants to throw a doctor in prison because she doesn't like him. And then later telling Dr. Fauci directly, you belong in prison, debasing herself in the most pathetic and humiliating way possible. You know that what this committee should be doing, we should be recommending you to be prosecuted. We should be writing a criminal referral because you should be cr prosecuted for crimes against humanity. You belong in prison, Dr. Fauci. That sounds like law and order to me, doesn't it? So Marjorie Taylor Greene taking the lion's share of this pathetic line of questioning. But there was another very interesting moment where Congresswoman Malia Takis tried to pull the conspiracy theory out of a hat that Dr. Fauci has earned a ton of money from the pandemic. And when she tried to confront him about it, it does not go well at all. That, Dr. Fauci, um, how much have you earned from royalties from pharmaceutical companies since the pandemic began in 2021? 
Zero. <laughs> It says NIH scientists made 710 million in royalties from drug make makers. Uh, you're saying that you, you did not receive any of the 710 million dollars. On COVID, I received, I think, $122 for, an e for a monoclonal antibody that I made 27 years ago. <laughs> okay, so just in general, though, how much have you received, not, not related to COVID, just in general, how much have you received in royalties between 2021 and 2023? I think none. Okay, so somebody received the seven hundred and ten. <laughs> somebody did, but not me. You didn't receive any royalties. Okay. I mean, I see no royalties associated with COVID. I mentioned. I, yeah, I said. You know, I, I want. I'm, yeah. No, I just said. I'm on the record, and I want to make sure that this is clear. That I developed a monoclonal antibody about 25 years ago that's used as a diagnostic that has nothing to do with COVID. And by the way. Aren't these the people who represent the party that says you should get paid when you do stuff of value? I mean, it's the, the, the saddest part of all of this is that there is a conversation to have about what went right and what went wrong when the pandemic came forward. Sam Harris some months ago had a very interesting episode where he said, hey, listen, now with the benefit of hindsight, bleaching our bananas didn't really make any sense. We didn't know that at the time. Now we do. But we were all working with limited information as quickly as possible to try to save people. And thus, when you make some mistakes with no real downside or even with some downside that you then figure then figure out and fix, we are all in an ideal world working together as a community to preserve life and do what's best. And instead of having the real conversation, they come forward in this, how much money did you make? You belong in prison. I don't even consider you a doctor and this sort of thing. They are truly pathetic people. Um, there are just a couple other clips here. Here's one with Jim Jordan again. Jim Jordan just trying to attack Dr. Fauci. Why was it so important the virus not have started in a lab? Wasn't so important that the virus not. We don't know. We well, know it was important to someone in the Biden administration, so much so that the top people at Meta, the top people at Facebook are asking, why are we getting all this pressure to Facebook? I like that to to downplay the lab leak theory. And we have an email from June of the same year, yeah. June 4th, 2021, saying the same thing. It was certainly important to somebody. Well, what does that got to do with me? I'm asking you because you're the expert on the coronavirus. I'm saying, why was the administration? Emails? Why was the administration so pushing not to have the lab leak theory as something that was viable? I can answer that. I've kept an open mind throughout the entire. You kept process. an open mind, Dr. Fauci. Open mind. That so Jim Jordan just trying to catch Fauci on something, and then here is Congresswoman Lesko trying to catch Fauci again with some emails that they don't actually have. Three days later, on February 4th, 2020, four participants on the conference call authored a paper, Proximal Origin, which was sent to you for editing. Proximal Origin pushed the natural origin theory. On April 16th, 2020, the NIH director, Dr. Collins, emailed you expressing dismay that the Nature Medicine article, which was based on Proximal Origin, didn't suppress the lab leak theory and asked you for more public pressure to suppress the lab leak theory. The very next day, in response to Dr. Collins' request to suppress the lab leak theory, you cited the Nature Medicine article, which discounted the lab leak theory from the White House podium. My question to you, sir, did you cite this article at the White House because the <laughs> NIH direct director asked you to suppress the lab leak theory? I did not do that in response to anybody's suggestion to suppress anything. It was in response to a question that someone asked at the podium. And I did not edit any paper as shown in my uh, official testimony. So you said about four or five things, Congressman, that were just not true. Well, we have emails. To By the way, I don't know why he called her congressman, but but it's just just a little weird aside there. Prove it. Well, you don't. Thank you. And I yield back. I now recognize Mr. Mfume from Maryland for five minutes of questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And by the way, no, we don't have it. Yeah, they don't have the emails. As usual, they're obsessed with emails that they don't actually have. So a pathetic attempt to assail the character and career 
of an 83 year old doctor. These people truly are pathetic. Look at the enemies that they pick. Stop letting governments and corporations control what you can access online. Use private Internet access, a VPN which changes your IP address so you can make it look like your computer is anywhere in the world. And this gives you access to all sorts of content you wouldn't normally be able to get in your home country. Our sponsor, Private Internet Access, is the only VPN fully optimized for streaming and large file sharing, and it is the only VPN to demonstrate legally and technologically they do not record your Internet activity. With private Internet access, I can watch Argentinian soccer matches not normally available in the United States. I can watch a whole bunch of great shows on the UK and Australian versions of Netflix and Hulu. Imagine turning on your Netflix and having hundreds of new big name shows you can watch. You can use it on all of your devices with just a single account, including your TV. Private Internet access is so easy. Your great grandmother could use it. You just download it and click one button to turn it on. That is it. Get private Internet access for 83 percent off. That's just 203 a month plus four extra months for free. Go to PIAVPN.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.